Back on BTN Live, our Polaris hardest working player, Indiana running back Jordan Howard. Howard rushed for 203 yards on Saturday in the Hoosiers win over Western Kentucky. The UAB transfer far and away the Big Ten's leading rusher has seven straight games over 100 yards on the ground going back to last season. And pleased to be joined now by Hoosiers head coach Kevin Wilson, who is in our studio in Bloomington. Coach, we'll get to Jordan Howard in just a moment, but bigger picture, what has impressed you the most about your team to this point? You know, Dave, I think we just got a um, veteran, calm, mature group. Um, a lot of improvement we can continue to make, but our kids got to just battle, keep playing hard. Uh, settle down as the game goes along. We kind of play four quarters, and uh, it's not always pretty, but there's a lot of fight. And I think when we collectively put it together, uh, we've gotten close to being a pretty good team right now. We've got a lot of work to do, but I like what we've, the way we've started for sure. You mentioned guys who have persevered. Nate Sudfeld is clearly one of them. The injury last year, he's a guy who's been with you for a number of years here, his last go-around with this team. And he has really jumped right back in, Coach, and is playing at an incredibly high level what can you tell us about his reemergence in this offense and what you've seen from him? Well, Nate uh, won. You know, he's, he, I think he's got 17 starts. So even as a fourth-year guy, he splits time, the injury last year, there's still upside. Uh, the best thing about Nate outside of his talent is intelligence in his drive. Offensively, we've matured at receiver. Our tight end group's better. Jordan Howard, Devine Redding at running back. And we've always had, I think, a really – solid line that when all the pieces come together, Nate is surrounded by some good players. And when the team is working as a group, Nate's job is very, very easy. And there's been some times where as a group we've clicked. And, and of course, Nate's the guy. He's the, he's the proverbial sh straw that stirs the drink. But he, those guys are making Nate look good. And it's, it's great team offense. Well, it's not great, but it's been really good team offense. And as, again, it's something to build on as we, as we, as we wrap up this last non-conference game. We were touching on Jordan Howard. I mean, here's a guy, he replaces Tevin Coleman, who was the number two rusher in the nation last year. And lo and behold, three weeks in, Jordan Howard is the number two rusher in the nation. What stands out as you have watched him integrate himself into this offense? He came in with, um, what, 2,500 career yards. So he's not a rookie. We do have a good line. We do have a package. And the way Nate can distribute some passing to keep him honest, um, very durable back so far. He gets stronger as the game goes along. He's got great balance and feel. He's 235 pounds. Uh, he's taking care of the football. Again, I like the start. There's a lot of football to play, and uh, we'll get a great test from a very strong Wake Forest defense this week. Defense has been your sticking point through the years. How would you assess the defensive play to this point? First game really got worked. Uh, caught off guard with some quarterback run game. Thought we uh, gave up a couple big plays, but much better, except for two big plays. Game two, we hold an opponent to 12 yards. Last week, we got a team one-dimensional, took away the run. Great passing team. Again, gave up some cheap passes, but had four defensive stops with a goal line stand, two turnovers, and a blocked field goal that ended the first half and took us through the third quarter. That was the difference in the football game. So it's got to get better. It's improving. It's a young secondary. We're back full strength with our D-line and linebackers and a lot of work to do, but it's going to give us a chance to have a solid year. I know this is a nice problem to have to some extent. You're 3-0, and but when you're dealing with a team that hasn't had a ton of success as a group, is it difficult when you get off to a good start to keep them grounded? How do you go about doing that? We're reflecting back, Dave, in the last couple of years that we've had some success but haven't backed it up. Um, and I, we, we actually hit that hard a year ago as, as we came out of some blunders at last season into our offseason work. So it's a more mature group, greater practice habits. I think the way we've battled in some inconsistent games, but yet battled and finished, gives us some confidence that this team will go on the road. Winning on the road is difficult. Winning at a Power 5 school on the road is going to be difficult. So for us to travel to Wake Forest, is going to be a great test. Then we have four tremendous Big Ten road tests as we get conference play a week from now. But we're one day at a time, one week at a time. And as coaches, most focused I've been on today, this week. And I think our team's embracing that. And uh, we'll see as we prepare and, uh, and take it to Winston-Salem this Saturday. Now give us a little bit of insight, if you would, Kevin, into this Wake Forest team. Second year under Dave Clawson. It looks like they've made some strides, particularly offensively. I know they really had trouble there last year, but it's apparent that they're better. What are the biggest keys to coming away with a win? 
Well, and a lot of our Big Ten folks should know Dave with the program he built at Bowling Green, the success they've had uh, in his time up there. Offensively, last year, a lot of young guys. Now they're back. They did have a quarterback get injured last week. So, But their second team, a true freshman, comes in and wins the game on the road at Army. Lines better, skill guys better, a lot of run-pass combo, a quarterback that can run. If they go with the second guy, a quarterback that can pass with the first guy. So you got to prepare for both. Defensively, they're top ten in almost every stat. Run defense, total defense, scoring defense, third down defense is awesome. They're much like Northwestern, I think they're giving up 19%. So it's going to be a challenge. And, again, we've yet to be on the road with this crowd. So we're just looking forward as we finish Tuesday work today. Let's have a great Wednesday. Let's build this week and uh, see if we're mature enough to just go play hard, put it together, and see if that will be the effort we need to get us one more victory this week. The head coach of the Hoosiers, Kevin Wilson, always a pleasure to visit with you, Coach. Thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time. Thanks, Dave.